How does your brain work? Yeah, that's a good question. I sometimes wonder how mine works. Um, the easiest way to explain how your brain works is to, if you think, let's say, of a seed, a tiny little seed that's planted in the ground. With the right encouragement and the right nutrients, that seed will develop some roots, and those roots spread out and look for nourishment, look for things that are going to help it to grow. Our thoughts are seeds. Our thoughts are the same things in your mind that when planted send out these little roots, these little neural pathways. And these little neural pathways, they're called dendrites. And these dendrites, what they do is they're looking for new uh, pathways to, to source other areas of your brain for information that can support that thought or that process. And the more of these information uh, pockets they can find in your brain, the stronger these roots, these dendrites, these neural pathways become until in the end you think about something and it, it, it will automatically just go to that part of your brain because the pathway is very strong, very, um, very well used um, and very supported. And the stronger these thoughts are uh, in the end, you pretty much don't even have to think about anything about it, it happens automatically. And this is where anxiety and stress and depression come in. Because the neural pathways, the stress, uh, thoughts, it just fires off, looks for that part of the information in your brain, gives you that feeling of helplessness, and you just run around in circles, and it just the problem gets worse over a period of time. So your brain is such a tremendous learning tool. So what we need to do is to find ways to break those habits. Now, interestingly, if you have a thought about something that's happened in the past, if you were to scan the brain at that moment, you would see certain areas of your brain light up when you were thinking about a memory in the past. Here's the fascinating bit. If you think about something in the future or imagine something as though it's going to happen, but it hasn't, it fires off that same part of your brain in a scan. Well, that actually means then that you can start to create your own neural pathways if you repeat that same process by visualizing certain things or goal planning or whatever it is and rehearsing in your mind, you build these neural pathways and these dendrites to this new information. The more you do that, the stronger that becomes and the easier you find it to be able to do something. And a study was done uh, some time ago in America where they got three groups of people uh, with regards to shooting baskets through a hoop. They took one group and ask them to practice for 30 minutes a day, every day for five days. And all they did was physically throw the ball through the hoops, nothing else. The second group they took, they asked them to do some practice and some visualization of imagining the ball going through the hoop, but some physical practice as well. The third group, all they did was visualize the process. They didn't physically have the ball in their hands. They didn't physically throw it through the hoop. They just imagined with their mind that they were doing it perfectly every single time. After the five days, they then did a test to see how many of the balls that could be thrown into the hoop, how many were successful. Which of those groups do you think were the most successful? The people who actually physically got the ball and threw it through the hoops, or the people who did the shooting through the hoops physically and imagined, or the people who just imagined. Let me give you a clue. The people who visualised had something like 16% more improvement in their accuracy than the other two groups, because the brain didn't therefore see any of the mistakes, or when you were just throwing through the hoops and you had a few misses here, there and everywhere, those are the other little dendrites and neural pathways when there's a mistake it's going off that way. When you purely visualize something and nothing else and you're only visualizing success, these dendrites and these neural pathways are building and becoming stronger and stronger and stronger because all it sees is success. So if you want to improve very, very quickly, the best way is to goal plan, is to sit down and visualize it as though it's really happening. Some people say, isn't that just dreaming? Well, dreaming is when you don't put a date on it. Goal planning is when you say, this is what I'm going to do and by when. And actually imagine it happening. But this also works with regards to illness and disease. 
you can think, you know, oh God, I can't do this, and I've just got, every time this happens, I'll get a headache, or I'm gonna be sick, or I'm, and all of these dendrites and these neural pathways just automatically know, in that situation, you're gonna be sick, or you're gonna be having a migraine, or whatever it is. If you start to imagine how you want things to be, the chances of success are infinitely greater. So have a little play with this. Think of something that you really want. Imagine that you've got it. Imagine that you're doing it. Imagine that you're being whatever it is you want to be. Build these little roots, these neural pathways, these dendrites, stronger and stronger in the way that you want them to be. And I guarantee you, you will get far more or far closer to that goal than if you imagine the opposite.